right, so today I'm going to give you my 372 step on page checklist. <laughs> no. No. Nope. Mm. No. We will absolutely not be doing any long on page checklist for on page SEO because that shit is absolutely ridiculous and totally unneeded. Look. I've done nine figures in sales and well into the eight figures in commissions online. And it's never been from making complicated, all right? I'm about to show you how you can get perfect on-page SEO in like a minute with just a couple of clicks. Man, that sounds so simple that it almost sounded scammy. But it is that simple and I'm gonna prove it to you. But all of the clowns who tell me I haven't really done the numbers I say I've done and actually shown I've done, you can post your this guy is a scammer comments right below. Love seeing those comments. And hey, I won't even be mean to you if you post those comments below. Because frankly, I don't want you to spit on my food when I go to the McDonald's drive through and order a cheeseburger from you. All right? By the way, just quick reminder, make sure you subscribe, join us. Now look, I'm practically an idiot compared to a lot of the other SEOs out there. I mean, seriously, if we're talking like IQ level, most SEOs are probably way smarter than I am. But I've made so much more money in SEO by being smart enough to be dumber than they are. Did that make sense? It's like some of these SEO cats just do and say stuff to make the process more complicated so they look smarter. And that's it. You dumb f***ing smart people. Stop being so smart. It's okay not to look smart for a second. And actually, it's going to really help you out when it comes to SEO. All right, so if you're one of my students and you've been following me for some time now, you know that my on-page SEO strategy is pretty simple, right, as far as the rules that I follow. But this video is going to go beyond those simple rules. It's going to take it further and show you how to have a bulletproof on-page SEO outline. And you can get this outline literally in less than a minute, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. But before we get into how to do this bulletproof outline, I wanna remind you of the most important on-page SEO factors. And look, if you've already seen this, stick with me because this outline part is going to absolutely change your whole SEO game. Seriously, you do not wanna miss this one. All right, so let's review my super simple on-page SEO rules, and bam. There you have it, my simple on-page SEO rules. Let's cover them really quick, then we'll get to the outline. So the most important on-page SEO factor, and these are only seven things you, you need to pay attention to, by the way. These are the seven things that I tell my students to focus on. So the number one most important factor is a keyword in domain, okay? If your keyword is in domain, that is the biggest on-page ranking factor. Now, it starts off as not a huge ranking factor if you don't have many links, but as you get more links, the on-page factor of having a keyword in your domain gets more and more powerful. So as more links come in, the power grows of having the keyword in your domain name. Now, if you don't have a keyword in your domain name, you obviously just want to get it in your inner URL. Number two would be keywords in your title, okay? Now, I used to just kind of fill my titles with keywords, like, for example, best e-cigarettes, e-cig reviews of 2024, things like that. Now what I do is I put my keywords in my title, but I also do something engaging. For example, like the best e-cigarettes of 2024 with reviews, uh, you know, don't kill your lungs. Like something where, that makes people say, what the, what the heck is he talking about? I got to see. Something that causes engagement, all right? Number three is keywords and H tags. Now, this is where the outline is really going to come in play, Okay. You want to have your keywords, the variations in H tags, and actually the outline is going to show you exactly what to put there, which was kind of a missing piece before. So stay tuned. Number four is keywords in description, but again, make it engaging. So before I would just focus a lot on getting keywords and keyword variations in my description. Now I focus on that, but also making it engaging. For example, I might put my keywords in then at the end say, hey, click here if you don't want your e-cigarette to blow up in your face, right? Something like that that makes people say, oh, I better click this and find out what he's talking about. Number five is keywords in content, but under optimized, if anything. What I mean by in content is regular size text. Now, when it comes to regular size text, this is a very small ranking factor for Google because I could have a page about e-cigarettes and talk about how my cat licked my e-cigarette, but that page has nothing to do with cats. 
if you just have cats in your regular size text, but nowhere else, like number four and above, like in your key, like in your URL or domain or title or H tags, you're never going to rank for cats, no matter how much domain authority you have. The reason for that is because small text or just regular size text is virtually a not, it's virtually not even a ranking factor. So what I do when it comes to my content or my regular size text is I just make sure that I have my keywords in there once and then I under optimize, if anything, because you're not going to get penalized for under optimized because they're going to know your keywords are in your H tags and your title and your URL and that type of stuff. But if you're over optimized, it can definitely hurt you. So just make sure you put your keywords in your content. But if you're questioning how much you should have, go on the lower amount, if anything. Number six is good formatting. This is one of my newer things in my list. You want to make sure you have bolding and bullet points and number lists and headings, et cetera, images and videos if you can. This just helps with the rankings these days. A, a well-formatted formatted article is just going to do better for you. Number seven is make your word count similar to the first page that has similar authority, right? So if there's five sites on the first page that are domain authority 90, I'm going to ignore those. If the other five results in the first page are more like my level of authority, that's what I'm going to base my word count off. It's not necessarily that word count is like some big ranking factor. It's just that the first page has a set amount of words as far as like, you know, between 2000 to 2500. Well, you want to use that range because that's what we see is working. On the other hand, if it's between 4000 and 5000, we want to be in that range. Or if it's under 1000, we want to be in that range. Whatever the first page is doing that has similar authority as the site you're using, use that word count, okay? And these seven on-page rules are like my guidelines. I don't really pay attention to anything else when it comes to on-page SEO besides the outline that I'm about to show you now, which is like the, the, the ultimate cheat code. But these seven things are what you should be focusing on. All that other stuff, throw out the window. So if you're a student of mine, you've seen this before, okay? You've seen these rules. And this formula has led to a lot of success, like hundreds, if not thousands of testimonials. But there's usually a lot of questions to go along with this. And the best questions that I've always had trouble kind of giving an outline for are things like, you know, well, how exactly should I structure my article? And, you know, well, what keywords should I put in my H tags? And my answer was always, you know, well, just see what the top ranking competition is doing and do something similar. So my answer today is still the same, but, but, sorry, couldn't resist. Now, what's different is I found a way to get an exact outline of how to structure the on page. And the structure is based off the top ranking results. So this beastly AI tool takes outlines of the top ranking competition, forms a better outline because it takes the best of each, and creates a fresh outline for you to follow. So you get a step-by-step -step outline of exactly how to structure your article based on what's working for the best ranking websites. So, you ready to see how to do it? Cool. The fee is only $20,000 a month to join this special membership software. I'm kidding. I'm about to show you for free. But next time, I will tax your ass. All right, so this is the tool we're going to be using to do this. And you can actually use this for free. The most you're going to pay is $7 for a trial. But the actual tool within this that I use is free. And uh, let me go down to the team here just to show you something. So the dude that I talked to, uh, this is my boy right here. I, mean, I believe it's pronounced Bob Hav. He's a, the founder. And uh, I, I told him I was going to be doing a video on this. He's like, darn it. Like I knew when I was producing this, someone was going to find this and start showing how to do this because he doesn't charge any credits for how to do this. So it's actually free. So if by the time you watch this, he's charging credits for this, don't be, don't be uh, surprised. It won't be much. It'd be maybe like a dollar to run it, which was, is, is way worth, uh, I would, I would pay a hundred dollars for the, for this outline I get. But currently as you're seeing this, it's free and shout out to Vibehive who, who is the founder of this tool. Absolutely awesome. But this is it right here. It's called autoblogging.ai. Now, once you sign up and you get a membership, I, I believe you can get a free membership or at the most you're paying $7 for a trial. You're going to come in here and you go to the dashboard and this is what you're going to see. So once you get into the dashboard, you want to go to godlike mode and godlike it is. So once you bring this up, we're going to go to article title and we're just going to enter the title of the article that you're doing. So in our case, we can say like, uh, here's one I already did, how to build a shelter. All right. So we're just going to do this as an example. We type in our, our article title right here, and we're going to go and do search SERPs. Now, when you search, it's going to say it's searching, and it takes like zero to three minutes. Typically, it takes like 10 to 20 seconds. Okay, It doesn't usually take anywhere near three minutes. You see, it just took about five to 10 seconds. 
Now what you're going to see is the top 10 ranking results for how to build a shelter or the top nine, whatever it has up here. Now what I do is I choose the top three results that are websites. Okay. So I wouldn't choose Quora. I wouldn't choose YouTube or any of these YouTubes. I want to choose three or at least two. Usually I do that are like websites. So that would be Scout Life. That could be Outdoor Life. And then that could be this one right here, philston.com. All right. So I'm going to choose these three. And then I'm going to scroll down again. If you only choose one or two, that's fine. I usually just do three. And boom, I'm going to create an outline based on outlines of the competition. So this also says that it takes three to seven minutes. Typically, it takes about 10 to 20 seconds. Uh, so it doesn't take anywhere near that long. So I'm not even going to worry about pausing the video. But this is literally a cheat code. If we go back, as this is generating, it's probably already done. But if we go back, we take this, this one up right here, number three, keywords and H tags. This is the biggest question I got for my on-page formula, and this is probably like the biggest missing piece. Now this piece is here, and this is done right now. If we scroll down, we have an exact outline to give to a writer or to just have this write if we want. This can write an AI article, and then you can kind of edit it with, with it with human stuff in there. But this would generate an article based on what's already working for the top ranking results. So all these H tags that we have are based off the outlines of those top three ranking websites. So it's taking the best of all three websites, branching it together into one outline and giving you the best of all worlds. So you have your full on-page SEO formula right here. All the H tags you need are right here. Exactly what to put in your H tags, exactly where they go. You have your exact structure. You can either send this outline to a writer to write it human, or we can simply click on generate article. And then you can use that article, which, by the way, I just made $58,000 in commissions off an AI site in one day. One day, that was one commission, one sale. So AI content still works very well if you want to use it. The other option, if you don't want to use pure AI content, is to generate it and have a human editor come in to kind of humanize it a little bit. Or the third option is just to use a human writer, right? Just what you would do is just copy this, this outline, say, hey, here's my outline. I want you to write an article based off this outline and structure it exactly this way. Just fill in everything else, right? And that is exactly how you have your godlike outline of perfect on-page SEO. And it is really just as easy as that, okay? Stop going through these stupid ass 900 step on-page SEO checklist. Focus on the principles I just talked about. Get your outline. That's it. Stop trying to be smarter by doing more. But I have to add my, my special schema tags and put my image location identifiers in the meta tag. Nope. No, you don't. Nope. Don't have to do it. Don't have to do any of that. I mean, look. Go ahead and do it if you want to drive yourself crazy and get absolutely nothing out of it. Look, I'm already married with kids. I got enough of that driving me crazy stuff going on in real life. I want no more of it when I sit down at my computer. So K-I-S-S, -S, you know what that stands for? Keep it simple, smart asses. And hey, subscribe. I'll have more good stuff for you very soon. The more subscribers and likes and comments we get, the more I'll keep releasing videos. Currently, I'm doing just one video a week, but I can do as many as one a day as long as the response is, is, is high enough and there's lots of comments and all that crap, all right? All right, I'm out. Have a good week, everyone. See you soon.